Hello and welcome back to Explore Bio. Today we will learn about plant growth regulators or PGRs and what role they play in regulation of growth and development of plants. We will also see some of their practical or commercial applications. In this video I will talk about 8 plant growth regulators. The first one is auxin. It is a growth promoting hormone that facilitates cell wall loosening, increases the cell wall plasticity and helps in cell division and expansion. Its major role is in root growth promotion. Auxin prevents premature leaf and fruit drop. It leads to apical dominance due to which primary shoot grows more as compared to lateral shoot. And removal of apical bud results in enhanced growth of lateral shoot. Horticulturists and gardeners often cut the shoot tip to promote lateral growth and bushiness. It promotes parthenocopy due to which the fruits are produced seedless. For example, application of auxin results in seedless strawberry and grape production. 2,4-D, which is an auxin, is also used as a herbicide to kill dicot plants. The second growth promoting PGR is gibberellin or GA. Its most important role is in internode and shoot elongation. This makes it suitable for increasing the yield of sugarcane. It breaks the dormancy in seeds and birds and stimulates their growth. In seeds, gibberellin promotes starch conversion to sugar and helps in germination. This makes gibberellin useful for brewing as it breaks down starch to maltose in barley seeds and others. It delays plant senescence by translocation of metabolites to those sites. Commercial fruit producers spread gibberellin on the fruits like grapes to increase their size and fullness. The third growth promoting hormone or PGR is cytokinin. In contrast to auxin, it prevents apical dominance and promotes lateral shoot growth. It induces cell division and also delays senescence. It prevents cellulose degradation and thus prevents yellowing of lettuce leaf after cutting. The fourth PGR is ethylene. It is unique in the sense that it is gaseous in nature. It increases the respiration rate and is well known for its role in promoting fruit ripening. Commercially, it is used to ripen the fruits like bananas and mangoes. It promotes senescence and root hair formation. It leads to retral growth of the plant. Commercially, in plants like cucumber, it promotes female flower production. The fifth plant growth regulator is abscisic acid or ABA. It has growth inhibitory role. It suppresses bud and shoot growth and often acts as gibberellin antagonist. During various types of abiotic and biotic stresses, ABA level increases. This imparts stress tolerance to the plant. It also results in stomatal closure. Unlike other phytohormones, AB is not much utilized commercially. Brassinosteroids are another group of PGRs that has diversified role in cell division, elongation, germination and development. It is also reported to play role in abiotic and biotic stress tolerance. Jasmonic acid and salicylic acids are also known to play important role in stress responses. This is the summary of various types of plant growth regulators and their important function. So that's all for today. In my next lecture, I will be explaining the role of plant growth regulators focusing especially on plant tissue culture. For any suggestion or request, do comment or email me at explorebio at yahoo.com. Check out my playlist on topics like research and publishing, genomics, markers, techniques, diseases and vaccines. Thanks and see you in my next video.